So, from the general consensus of the thread, I think we have a good idea of some upgrades we should get for right now. Granted, we don't have many choices, but pretty obvious one is hardiness. So, I'm going to go ahead and put at least one point into that. And, I'm also going to get one point into impulse, just because I decided to try and use that a bit more than I have in my previous uh, playthroughs of the game. And I think it'll be interesting. But with our upgrades, uh, we can go ahead and continue on. And this is going to be another example of one of those messages embedded with E99. It's obviously stating a timeline, but I'm not exactly sure what the A is supposed to be or what bad happened, but maybe we'll figure it out later. Also, we got another new feature here. Got medkit packages here. We can repair those and get some health packs if we need them, but we're doing pretty good for right now as we head into the Gravity Research Laboratory. Now this actually seems vaguely familiar to one of the experiments we saw back in the 50s, but from this note we can tell that something kind of went awry with part of the testing. Also we kind of find out that the two tech support guys in here apparently didn't get along too well. But we can look down there and see, it looks like we can actually go down there, but something's blocking our way. Which is why we got our first TMD upgrade. And with our new upgraded TMD, we now have another new ability, which we'll be seeing in just a second. It's Gravity. Now Gravity, if we highlight items that can be moved, we'll put a orange circle on the cursor and it allows us to pick up cumbersome and heavy items. It also allows us to fling the said items, but that particular one is just quite heavy, so... It's more just us trying to get it out of the way to continue on. Also, much like the destroyed health pickup crates, we also have item crates waiting around for us, but since we haven't really had to shoot anything, we're pretty much fine. Also with our gravity upgrade, we can now grab any kind of pickups from long distances, which should make uh, picking up some items a bit easier. But it still appears there's plenty of dead Russian Spetsnaz around. We also have another new bio formula. This one isn't really that useful, Iron Lung, just allows us to hold our breath longer underwater, but there's really not enough underwater sections to ever really make that useful.
And in this carcass filled room we get our first box puzzle I guess would be the best term for it. If you can remember we can make and we can age and revert crates to make them full or crushed and that allows us to scale to higher places and to find uh, what is that over there? That's a TMD blueprint. Now these are actually randomized so you're not actually always going to pick up the same one. Uh, this one's actually not that great. Just allows us to get more ammo from drops which is not really that necessary as long as you have a good aim. But the crush box actually has, or the E99 box I should say, has one more good use which if you notice this grating here we can't actually duck underneath it but if we crush the box and shove it underneath and then revert it back it actually allows us enough space now to get underneath And those are actually going to be pretty much the primary uses that we are going to see for those boxes in the future. So anytime we see them from now on, they'll pretty much be a puzzle nearby as well. It doesn't look like too much has changed from how we left it. But as that tooltip was saying, we can now knock Zex out of their phase form by using Impulse. You can also hit them with the aging uh, beam, but that will be seen a bit later on. It doesn't have the same effect it did before. We still have Zex being their normal, playful selves, but this note right here seems to state that uh, this upside down hanging gentleman was actually the last of his forces left alive. Eventually, Captain, you will have to find an elevator that will take you to the upper floor of the administration building. All other ways are blocked. But with gravity, we also have another new weapon at our disposal, which are exploding barrels. And they give us plenty of opportunities to use them here. Also, though I forget to show it off, you can actually age the mutants and as opposed to most other enemies, instead of just crumbling to dust, they actually manage to just kind of melt and explode. I'll be showing that off in the future though. But you do always have to be careful with how much E99 power you do have left. It becomes kind of a uh, inconvenience to be stuck in the middle of a firefight having to reload your E99.
hopefully with the tense music now over, that's a clear sign that danger is no longer present, which is good. I mean, a little bit of heart-pounding danger is fine, but I think it's time to solve some puzzles and continue heading on. And that particular Zex kind of spawns whenever you head towards that box of goodies, but he's easily taken care of, especially since we just took out about 12 of his buddies. But we will be seeing quite a few of these, you know, using the box to prop open a door type of puzzles, so should get used to trying to find those destroyable boxes as often as possible. Uh, yeah, just uh, the weapon tech and some extra ammo is in there. Weapon tech will be good because we will be upgrading our weapons. Not, not in this video, but uh, fairly soon. But, overall, it doesn't look like saving Beresov and killing Demichev really changed anything. And also, apparently, cookies dunked in E99 laced milk are not a good combination. Neither is standing next to an explosive barrel to let out your infuriated rage. So this right here is just a quick tutorial on the fact that you can hit the Zex with the aging beam, and instead of just aging them, it actually slows them down. which you can combo together to make some rather interesting actions. You must take the elevator to the upper floor. These E99 messages, we're not exactly certain who wrote them, but they seem to be rather from a disoriented viewpoint. And we'll start to see they become very contradictory. But this note right here is just listing all the nearby inventory. Nothing really interesting on there, just more mention of E99 cookies. But before we head up into the elevator, there are a few more items out here. Another health pack we don't need, but some more E99, which is always good. Also, I never noticed it before, but something is flying and circling around in the sky. Not exactly sure what that is right now, but I'm sure we'll be finding out later.
certainly appear to be a much larger Zex than we've dealt with so far. And we'll be seeing him again in the future. Hopefully under better terms. But there isn't going to be too much in this room. Just some more oddly translated signs. And our first example of a destroyed uh, recording device. This is the audio journal of Dr. Vasily Korkin. He visited me again late last night. Subject Alpha from the teleportation experiment. That's the fourth time in the last two weeks. He materialized out of nowhere. He seems to be more corporeal with every appearance. I must admit, he frightens me. A little. There is such malice in his eyes. No, well, it's the first time we've heard about any teleportation experiments, but... I... We probably won't ever be getting the ability to really teleport outside of time travel. I do love those aging effects. But we have quite a full room of trip mine or trip wires, and with our new gravity powers, they're actually pretty easy to get through now. You just need to have something nearby you can pick up and drag through, them, and they'll be set off. You can also shoot the base of them, but it's a lot easier just to drag some items through them and save yourself some ammo. By now, you should see the courtyard you'll need to pass through. And it still sounds like we can still hear that larger Zex. This note right here is just saying that one of the weapons developers was apparently acting very erratically. Another weapon locker in case we need it, but we don't. I definitely think we've seen those helicopters before. I guess that means that Demichev or the Russian government is still around. And I almost want to say that this is actually Demichev's office. Not so much for what that had, but more in reference to this note right here. There he seems to be still looking for us, even from 1955. Who's that handsome man? Oh, that's us. And it looks like he doesn't think we're in the village anymore, and to a degree he would be very right. This note right here is just saying that one of the workers here was starting to feel a bit on a bit sick. I, I don't know if it's supposed to be this gentleman right here. But yeah, it's a beautiful man. Well, that's all we actually need up on this floor. Just a few spare items. Let's head down to administration and records. It 
doesn't look like we can pick up anything nearby, so we're just going to resort to shooting at that tripwire. It's not too difficult to take down. And actually, I think uh, this is a good stopping point for the video, so I'm just going to make sure and keep this bucket for our future adventures, and we'll see you next time.